If you're ready to amp up your side hustle game, become more productive and pay off that student loan debt faster, then you're in luck, my friend, because today I get to share with you 16 Amazon finds under $50 that I found to be extremely helpful to help you do just that. So stick around because you're not going to want to miss this one. Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to Noir in Color. My name is Shanita and I'm kind of excited for this week's video because I get to share with you some of the tools that I use during my time dashing that I found to be extremely useful while making money on the DoorDash platform. Now that I've done over 7,000 deliveries throughout my debt-free journey. And the first one is that you wanna make sure you're taking special care of your neck and back with the Shiatsu Neck Massager. I picked up this neck massager about a year ago for around 50 bucks, but you're in luck because it looks like Amazon did a price adjustment on this popular item and it retails for a steal of a price for under $25 now. What's great about this shiatsu neck massager is that it's multi-use. Not only is it great for your neck, but it can be used to massage other pain points, which is why they've included sleep pockets so that you can focus the massage in that area. It also heats up with adjustable settings and comes with a car adapter. In case you don't have one of those fancy cars with the built-in heated seat massagers, when you plug it into your car, you can basically just make one yourself. Now, if this Shiatsu neck massager is a little outside your price point, perhaps you might be interested in something a little bit more Manual tennis balls. Before I discovered the Shiatsu neck massager, I was on the hunt to find something immediately that I could use to release some of the knots and tensions that I was experiencing in my neck and in between my shoulder blades. And my Google search led me to Bob and Brad's YouTube channel. On that channel, they taught me that the lower neck tension and knots that I was experiencing were due to my body being in the same position for long periods of time without rest or mobility. And after doing over 7,000 deliveries, that made complete sense. So they suggested a way to relieve that would be to use a tennis ball. So if you're on a tight budget and looking for a quick fix and would like to try some therapeutic massages at home using something as simple as a tennis ball, I'll leave a link to their video in the description box below so that you can check them out. Similarly, a seat cushion is something else I would highly recommend using if you're driving for long periods of time. It keeps your lower back in a healthy curve and relies less on your core muscles to maintain good posture and takes the pressure off your lower back to relieve pain in areas such as your back, hips, and tailbone. Now, even though this is a personal finance channel, I'm promoting these products not to encourage you to spend more money, but instead just the opposite. These tools are to help you save money in the long run to help you stay out of the chiropractor's office. Now, the seat cushion that I'm featuring here in this clip is ages old and I'm definitely due for an upgrade. So I've got my eyes on purchasing this one. It's the Love Home Lumbar Support Pillow. It's got breathable mesh material and zips open so you can wash it, which is great for those really hot summer days when your back gets all sweaty. I also really like the adjustable clips that holds it in place. I find that with my current back cushion, every time I get out of the car, I have to readjust it. So that's a really nice feature. It's got tons of positive reviews and it comes in under $30. So I definitely will be adding that to cart. Now you're going to want to stick around until the end of the video because I've got a bonus accessory that you're not going to want to miss. Give yourself more connectivity with a wireless car charger mount. Now, if you're anything like me, you're going to forget that you needed to charge charge your phone two hours ago after it already died on you. Having this charger has saved me from countless times when I have been so focused on completing my deliveries that I've forgotten that I needed to plug my phone in and charge it between drives. By the time I was on my way to the customer's house, my phone would die. I don't have to worry about that happening anymore now because all I have to do is hang up the phone on the charger mount and it charges the phone for me while I'm driving. Problem solved. Now the mount does come with a USB to USB-C adapter so that you can connect it to your car internal power source. So you do have to keep the mount connected to a power source in order for it to charge your phone. But the phone car mount remains completely wireless, so you never have to remember to plug in the phone directly each time you get into your car. I also like that it includes two ways to mount the phone holder. Either you can use a suction cup attachment or you can replace it with the vent clip. Both options are included in the box. I've used both, but I prefer the vent clip because the suction cup eventually loses its hold. In the summer months, it kept falling off and losing its stickiness. So I just switched it to using the clip and it works perfectly. And as a side note, I also have an outer box case on my cell phone and the wireless charger works just fine without me having to remove it to charge it. But what happens if you forget to plug in the car mount and you can't bring the car charger in with you to the restaurant? Then perhaps you may want to consider picking up one of these 
portable phone chargers by Halo. This one retails for just under $50 and offers a variety of ports depending on what device you use. What's great about this is that it can become your main power source for up to four hours unplugged and can hold a charge for several weeks when not in use and plugged into an outlet. It's also safe to travel with on a plane. Now there's a lot of really cool charging modes out there in all different shapes and sizes to fit various mobile devices. And of course, I'll link up everything mentioned in this week's video with my affiliate links and a full written review on the blog. And not to mention, I have a full resource page on thewarrencolor.com with a full range of things not mentioned in this week's video. So make sure to check that out in the description box below. Now, speaking of Halo, is an honorable mention to the Halo AC and DC Bolt. Now, I say honorable mention because while it doesn't meet the $50 and under criteria described in this week's video, I had to mention it because it's truly become a go-to item in my trunk and has come in handy quite a few times. This one comes in under $130 on Amazon. It's a portable car jump starter which means you don't need the use of someone else's car to help jump your car. All you do is attach the black and red jumper cables to the positive and negative terminals on your car's battery and wait a few minutes and then start the car. Follow the instructions as directed and you're good to go. You can also use it to inflate your car tires and power up any device that uses a USB port. Now, if that's a little outside your budget, I understand I have two other options for you. This one is the Halo Bolt flashlight coming at under $100 on Amazon. And then I found its competitor, the Morphe Power Station Go flashlight at just above our $50 mark on Amazon. Both appear to have great ratings and achieve the same goal, which is to power up your car's battery in the event that you don't want to rely on the kindness of others to help jumpstart your car. And while we're on the subject of flashlights, is the newer LED video conference light kit coming in under $40 on Amazon. If you've taken nothing away from this entire video so far, get this. This is a game changer. Now, Newer is one of the leading brands when it comes to video and camera lighting. And while most people use this as a portable phone and video camera light, I've actually found a much better use for it, which is to clip it onto my phone and use it to see when I'm dashing in low lit areas or even act as a safety device so that other drivers can see me when I'm walking across the street. Take a look at the difference between a person walking on the street in the dark and they have no light device on them compared to someone who does. Now in this video, I talk about the best times to dash and one of the best times to dash is when it rains, which equally makes it hard to see and hard for people to see you. Not only that, it's a bit cumbersome to hold someone else's food, a flashlight and an umbrella. So this offers a hands-free option. It's really bright. And during the weekdays, if I need to use it for a meeting, I can just take it out out for Zoom meetings. Now, if you're already getting some creative side hustle inspo out of this video, can you do me a favor and hit the like button? It really is the best way to show your continued support for the channel. And if you've enjoyed the B-roll footage for this week's video, I want to give a special shout out to my friend Nina. We were college roommates freshman year and we've been friends for over a decade now. She came through and checked up on your girl and had a huge role in the production of this video that you are enjoying this week. And might I add, Nina is also on her side hustle game as she is a creative as well. She creates and designs faith-based apparel and has her own branded clothing line through her online boutique on Shopify. I'm going to leave the details to her boutique in the description box below. So feel free to show her some love and support of this channel when you have time. Now, there are three things that I believe should be hands down free, water, ATM fees and air. Save your coins and avoid spending money on these machines by using the dual tire pressure and air pump. Now, I know that there are other things that are still being debated that should be considered free, like education, healthcare, and childcare. But in an effort to not go on a tangent here, stick with me. I realized that I just gave an honorable mention to the Halo AC and DC Bolt, which essentially does the same thing as a dual tire pressure air pump, if not more. But this one comes in just over our $50 budget, and in my opinion, is much lighter and even easier to use. Just be sure to check the tire pressure recommendations for your car, plug it up to a power source in your car and air up your tires. 
Now remember, I've got a bonus accessory for you in just a few minutes, but number 10 is get organized and simplify your life with these two foldable space-saving accessories. I keep one collapsible crate and two foldable pack and roll utility rolling carts in my car at all times because you never know what types of orders you're going to receive. The crate keeps spills and other juices leaking from bags off my car seats, which can lead to odors and stains. So this helps keeps the food from shifting and moving while in transit. The carts I use are for toting heavier delivery items like dog food and makes it easier to roll up to the customer's house and drop off the food. They're lightweight and can carry up to 55 pounds and they easily store flat in my trunk for maximum storage efficiency. The rolling carts come in just under $50 and the foldable collapsible crate comes in just under $35 on Amazon. During and after your orders, you're going to want to make sure that you have something to keep you busy so you're not running down the battery life on your phone, especially during the holiday season. So Restaurants are probably gonna be a little crowded and wait times are gonna be longer. That's why I like to keep on hand my Amazon Fire tablet while I'm waiting at the restaurant for the order. Sometimes the lines are long and the wait times can just be a little longer than usual. This one comes in under $30. It's lightweight, portable, and offers 10 hours of battery life. If you're curious as to what I read on my tablet, I have a full library on nuancolor.com with tons of my top recommendations for good reads while you wait. Number 12, while I don't think it's necessary anymore to bring delivery bags in with you while you enter the restaurant, I do think that it's a great idea to just keep them handy in your trunk, especially when it's 20 degrees and you show up to the door with a piping hot pie. Not only will that increase your chances of getting a better tip, but your ratings will go up as well. So coming in at $0, yes, you heard that correctly, these two hot bags were absolutely free. The Grubhub hot bag you see on my left, I got absolutely free during sign up. I tried doing Grubhub for a few months, but I didn't find it to be as lucrative as DoorDash. So I stopped doing it and I never asked for the bags back. So I just keep using them. The other, which is the DoorDash brand bag was given to me for free when I went to Pizza Hut. Yes, the next time you're at Pizza Hut, check with your local Pizza Hut to see if they have any free DoorDash hot bags left. Now, admittedly, I do use the Grubhub branded hot bag more often than I use DoorDash hot bag because you can visibly see the difference in both quality and size between the two hot bags. But if you're looking to purchase some hot bags on your own and don't want to fuss with driving around to find a free hot bag, here's a recommendation for you for under 35 bucks. This one holds extra large pieces and has a steam release so the bags and boxes don't sweat. Now number 13 is to suit up and get geared up for your drives. Now there are three accessories that I always reach for and that is the type of hats that I wear, the type of shoes that I wear, and the type of apparel that I wear. How are cold, rain or shine, I'm in these three things no matter what. Because it tends to be very sunny here in Texas, I always opt for a hat over sunglasses most of the time. The problem that I have is most hats don't fit my hair. So I came across this hat that I found at Target. Every year Target comes out with a Black History Month apparel line and this hat was part of their 2022 collection. What I love about this hat is that it gives the space of a visor, but the style of a baseball cap. It's got an elastic band instead of Velcro, so it doesn't pull and tug on your hair and expands if you have a different hairstyle. It's very well made and has a satin lining in it so that it doesn't dry out my Afro textured hair. I think it's a very thoughtful design. So I went on a hunt to find other hats like this on Amazon in different colors. And I found these two hats, which are very similar and I have purchased. Now the other one is shoes. I do wear sneakers from time to time. I find when I wear sneakers, I still come across two ongoing issues. One, I'm extremely lazy and I hate bending down to try my shoes every single time they come undone. Two, they're too hot to wear during summer months and I don't like to wear socks. But during my time working in education, I noticed that many of the teachers that I worked with all were wearing Tom shoes and they swore by them. So I decided to try them out and it was a game changer for me. They're lightweight and the canvas fabric makes them very breathable and comfortable when my feet swell from walking so much and the heat during the summer. But they do nothing for me in the winter months. So I switched to wearing Minnetonka moccasins. They've got the comfort and lightness of a Tom shoe, but the quality leather and warmth of a boot. Now I know these aren't the most trendy shoes you've ever seen, but when you've done over 7,000 deliveries to crush $100,000 in student loan debt, fashion isn't exactly your biggest priority. 
comfort, and mobility is. The Minnetongas come in just shy of $50 and the Toms come in under $40. The DoorDash t-shirt is a little controversial because you are considered an independent contractor and not an employee of DoorDash. So you're not required to wear any type of uniform while doing deliveries. However, it limits my interaction with employees. I'm recognizable, they read the shirt, and they just hand the food over. Two, I can skip the line. When I'm dressed as a civilian, others see me as though I'm cutting in front of them. However, when I'm wearing the shirt, it comes across differently. It also makes getting dressed way more easier because the goal is to look decent and put together without it taking too much of my time. Best of all, all of these things mentioned in today's video are considered taxable deductions if you're using them for the purpose of your DoorDash food delivery business. Therefore, documenting all of these expenses can lower your tax liability. And the best way to keep track of all this is by using the Stride app. This is not a paid partnership with Stride. I'm just sharing because it's an app that I continuously use for all of my DoorDash gig work expenses. You can add an expense by clicking on the plus sign, then clicking on the add expenses, then clicking on other. If you can't find the item that you want to list as an expense and the pre-filled list provided for you on the app. But listen, I promised you a bonus accessory. So here it is. Number 17, take your personal grooming to new heights, literally with this rechargeable three-way trifold mirror with adjustable hanger and hooks. Remember, I wanted to find the most hassle-free way to still look put together and ready to do my dashes in the most efficient way possible. I love the convenience of this mirror because it's portable and it takes up very little space. It's nice because it provides additional lighting when I need it and it's a rechargeable battery so I won't have to worry about buying a new battery for when the light fades out. It also comes with a carrying bag so it doesn't get scratched up when storing it. So this solves two problems that I currently have in my space, which is that I can't move the vanity mirror over my sink in my bathroom and I can't see the back of my head when I style my hair. So this solves that by giving me multiple angles to ensure that I'm prepping myself to look my best for any occasion at minimal cost coming in at under $40. Now you may have some questions about what other apps I use since I mentioned to you that I use the Stride app to track my expenses. So if you haven't seen my video on the best apps to use for gig workers, be sure to click on this video here on the screen and like this video if you've gotten value. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.